Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Shaniqua Vereen. This week, the science continues and so much progress on the International Space Station. On Tuesday, October 25th, the unpiloted Progress 82 cargo craft launched on a Soyuz rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The Progress spacecraft docked to the space-facing side of the Poise module two days later on Thursday, October 27th, bringing almost three tons of supplies to the crew. This week, the astronauts aboard the space station got a little help on inventory. JAXA astronaut Koichi Wakata conducted the RFID-enabled Autonomous Logistics Management 2, or RFID Recon, for inventory. Wakata used an Astrobee robotic free flyer to identify RFID tagged cargo on the station to determine its presence and location in order to help the crew find items quickly and efficiently. RFID tags are similar to barcodes, except they are electronic, do not require line of sight, and are able to respond through wireless communication. Although RFID has been used effectively on Earth for over a decade, uses have been primarily in the area of supply chain logistics at the box and pallet levels. Precise item level tracking and localization and machine interaction utilizing RFID are still in early stages but are rapidly beginning to infiltrate institutions such as retail and commercial avionics. The mission of the International Space Station is multifaceted, with scientific research and exploration at the forefront. But one of the major duties that astronauts take part in is to inspire. What advice would you give to elementary school students who want to be astronauts? Inspiration is a core mission of NASA. Astronauts aboard the space station regularly take part in scheduled events during their time in orbit to inspire future generations to explore, learn, and build a better future. Educational events with schools around the world help students to engage in the study of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Along with on-orbit interviews with media and institutions, the space station serves as humanity's outpost in the quest to explore. We invite you to follow us as we continue to explore the secrets of the universe for the benefit of all. We have a wealth of information online. At ISS underscore research on Twitter is a great place to start. That's Space to Ground for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.